Hello, hello, welcome back to Leaky Gaming and welcome back to a mod review. Now I'm gonna show you a couple of plows, at least uh, this is this is a South African company, I'm gonna show you which one it is. So if we go to our little screen here with plows, yes. So it's Rovik Lairs, Lair, Lairs I think would be pronounced because Dutch, South African kind of language, I think it would be Rovik Lairs. Uh, it's called a shank. The DBL 1913, 1911, 1919, 1907, and 195. Uh, they come in two different variations with a roller or without. Uh, you can see the price. Oh, uh, the widths are 5.2. Uh, 4.4, 3.6, 2.8, and 2 meters respectively. Uh, they're not per size here, I skipped one size, for example this one is a little bit bigger than this one, but I wanted to show you how they look with and without rollers. Uh, the smallest and the biggest one I have here uh, uh, in line are without rollers, but you can just imagine how would they look with rollers, because this is how rollers look like. They actually look magnificent without rollers as well. Uh, I'm gonna show you a short video how it works and how it looks like after it's been worked. I mean, personally I've been working with the second biggest one and uh, hopefully you're gonna like it. They are pretty pricey but you can also create fields which with is, which is what I used it for. Now guys, uh, uh, I think it's pretty good mod, uh, I don't think it would be used much on this beautiful Scottish map, Peterville Farm, where we are now, uh, but definitely uh, United States, South Africa, Australia, the countries who have uh, more uh, furrow plow, more um, uh, uh, the, 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 the spiky plows than the, than the, the furrow plows, the, the slated plows like uh, we have in Europe. Anyway guys, uh, let's check out the video and see you soon. Okay. As you can see here, guys, the plow looks amazing. It looks really nice, especially when it gathers a little bit of a dirt. Uh, you can see uh, um, all the mechanical parts moving, and uh, it, it actually it, it's actually quite nice. Uh, looks simple. It's a bit on the pricey side, but uh, it does the job. It definitely does the job. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this uh, little review and check out how it looks on all sides here. Hmm. There you go. Really, really nice animations there. All the spinny parts are spinning, all the stationary parts are stationary. Uh, for all other issues, there's VD40 and duct tape. Okay, guys, let's continue on. And this is how it looks after the whole field, work out of the whole field. Uh, it, it, it dirties nicely. It's, it's looking much better when it's a little bit dirty than when it's brand spanking new. Because the, when it's brand spanking new has this reddish glow to it, which I'm not really a big fan of. I like when it looks like this, I'm probably never gonna wash it. Uh, yeah, guys, I hope you like this mod, I really do. I don't like the initial colors, which is kinda important on my part. Uh, the first impressions are the most important, but other than that, the mod looks really solid, looks really good. You have several different widths, and yeah, it, it's a good mod. Guys, if you enjoyed this one, please press the like button. If you didn't, uh, leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think about the mod. Uh, subscribe, like, ring the notification bell, and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye-bye.